Hey guys, can you hear me? I'm trying to go live there. I think this thing is live. I got somebody behind the camera. Can you tell me if this thing's live? Okay, I want to shoot this uh, short video for you today because you know I do a lot of things online. I sell products. I have digital stuff. I've got courses. I got all these different things, and I always have people say, "Well, just tell me how to make a million bucks online." So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to tell you the seven steps to make a million dollars online. And I feel like I have the right to tell you that because I've made millions online. And I'm not bragging, but you've got to kind of look at where your information comes from because if you're getting information from people who haven't done what you want to do, then you're not going to do well. So I broke it down into these seven steps. And uh, if you do these seven steps, you can make money online. That's, but you've got to do them, okay? It's not like you know, you're going to read them and then not do them. I, mean, I had somebody buy a course the other day and they said it didn't work for them. And I was, I was astonished because, you know, it was, it was an email course and they were the exact emails that I used to make money with. And when I dug into it, um, I found out that the person had not watched any of the videos or sent out any emails. And I said, well, you know, you got to at least try it. I mean, you got to, you got to put forth the effort. You got to send out an email. You got to watch a video. And they said, no, it's, it's, uh, I have much more knowledge than that, you know, so that, that's not going to help me. And I thought, well, why are you buying courses if you, you know, have all that knowledge? So anyhow, um, first step, this is your first step if you want to jot it down. This isn't going to be a long video, just a few minutes. It doesn't take that long to make a million bucks, okay? Just jot down these seven steps. First thing you got to decide on, is it going to be a digital product or is it going to be a physical product? Now, if you don't know the difference, a physical product is something you can hold, touch, feel, okay? So it's something that, you know, gets shipped to somebody's house. It comes in a box, an envelope, whatever. And uh, we do physical products. I have a, a company called Survival K Food. We ship out products every single day. And then we have survival tools, and I have books that I've written, and, you know, we sell all those things too. So that's a physical product. So you just got to decide what are you going to do there. Now, because you sell a physical product does not necessarily mean that you have to ship it out yourself. You can use a drop shipper. You could use something like AliExpress, um, which I uh, uh, show you how to do in a lot of my courses. Um, or the next thing is a digital product. Now, what's a digital product? Well, a digital product is anything that you could email to somebody or they could log in and they could watch videos or stuff like that. Um, that would be your digital product. Um, and then you have to do step number two. Step number two is really simple. Are you going to be an affiliate and sell these products or are you going to be the primary seller? And here's what I mean by that. Like some of my products are both. Um, my Survival K food brand, we actually make that product. We ship it out to the customer and they receive it. But we also have resellers of it. And you can you know, look this up on Google. But if you type in Survival K food, you'll find thousands of websites that actually sell that product, but they don't ship it out. So we actually ship it out. So they're more like an affiliate for that product. Um, that can be true also for digital products. So, you know, you, if you've got a lot of knowledge in one area or you want to, you know, learn a lot of stuff in one area and make a course, you can certainly do that. And then you would be the direct seller of that course. Or you could go out there and find courses that sell real well, which, you know, I have some of those courses like that. And you could become an affiliate and actually market that course. And then that person who has the course is going to pay you a commission. In our case, we pay like 50%, which is pretty good. So step one, you've got to decide digital or physical product, then you got to decide if you're going to be a primary seller or an affiliate. Um, next one is really obvious, but people don't always get this. Step number three is have a really good product. I mean, just, just have a phenomenal product, okay? And a lot of people are like, well, how do I find a phenomenal product? And, and that's going to come in the next step. But I'm just telling you, you've got to have a good product. If you don't have a good product, people aren't going to buy it, you know? So you've got to have a good product, good offer, that type of thing. Step four. This is a big one here, and a lot of people don't get this. They try to go out and reinvent the wheel. They try to figure out something all brand new that nobody's ever done. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, maybe you want to do that on down the road, but in the beginning, and, and I'm the same way, in the beginning, I sold other people's products. That's what I did. Um, and I didn't try to figure out, you know, something that would sell really well. I went out into the market and I actually found products that were selling really well, okay? And then I emulated that or modeled that or sold the same product as that. Um, and what you need to do is you need to go out and you need to find a profitable product that's easy to sell online. Now you say, well, JR, that's, you know, that's half the battle. It really isn't, okay? It really is not. Because I'm going to put in the link down here, um, I'm going to put in the comments, excuse me, a little link. And that link goes to a book I wrote. And the book is called, Lo and Behold, How to Find a Profitable Product to Sell Online with Zero Risk. Okay? Um, we sell the book. It costs you money. 
cost five dollars and sixty cents okay but there's a link there and if you want to know how to find a profitable product to sell online that book will tell you how to do it and I'm not selling that book right now you know if you're good at finding products you know just do it that way and that's fine don't get my book um, and then number five after you found somebody selling a really profitable product check out to see if they train other people to do what they're doing I mean, it makes sense right if somebody's being really profitable and they're selling a lot of whatever you want to sell contact them and say do you have any training is there anything you can teach me to do this because I want to do the same thing and so many people will not do this they'll, they'll spend all kinds of money running ads on their own and you know doing all kinds of different things but they don't just go out to somebody and say hey you're doing this and you're really good at it will you show me how to do it and I'm gonna put another link down there for you and I, I can't promise you on this one. in fact I know I can't promise you because I'm all booked up but I do some coaching on that so I actually teach people how to sell products online and make money and you know if they want to know my resume they just type my name in to Google and they put in JR Fisher and they find all the stuff I've sold online so one caveat to that there's a lot of people that sells court sells courses and training and all that but make sure they not only did what you want to do but they're still currently doing it because I will tell you selling stuff online man every single day I see something new that I didn't know and I'm like holy crap I gotta add that you know we just added um, some software called Kartra and it does what like eight different other softwares do and I'm not dropping names and I'm not selling it to you I'm not even gonna give you a link for that but you know you could check that out it's just an amazing amazing piece of software and it allowed us to cut out about eight pieces of software because it all does it all at once now if I if I did a course you know which I did one about a year ago um, and I'm I don't have a link for this one but it was called Digital Cash Academy and if I did that course and I stopped selling stuff online I would never know about Kartra today and Kartra is just one thing I mean things change constantly so if you're gonna learn from somebody make sure you learn from somebody who is doing it every single day and are still successful at doing it okay so we've got through five of these I got two more left and then I'm out of here um, number six you're not gonna like hearing this you're just not no nobody wants to hear this you gotta spend money and get training okay there's only two ways to get knowledge okay you can use other people's experience or you can use your own experience now how do you use your own experience well you just keep spending money and running ads and trying things and figuring out all the things that don't work so you can narrow it down to the things that do work I spent thousands of dollars trying to figure out what worked okay I did and it's so funny now because we'll have a course that's like $27 a month or $47 a month and people will say well no I just put the free stuff I don't want to spend any money at all I, and I want to learn how to sell stuff online you cannot you cannot you will not if you don't have the knowledge be able to be successful online without spending a ton of money to figure out what doesn't work or from getting training from somebody who knows what does work okay so it's just one or the other you got to spend money um, if you don't want to spend money if you want to start a business with zero money don't even listen to this video you can't do it you can't do it. you can't start a business with no money you got to invest in a little laptop here you got to invest in internet connection and why wouldn't you invest in training yourself I mean, that's crazy why wouldn't you do that uh, and I have a bunch of courses I'm not gonna list them I'm not gonna do it you know if you want them you'll find them out there they're out there somewhere um, and then the last thing is and I think this is a big thing because I just did a course um, called Facebook Ads University and in that course I train people on how to do social media ads um, pick a platform that works for you um, I don't do Twitter okay I mean every now and then I'll tweet but I don't do Twitter and I don't do Instagram I don't know anything about them so I can't teach it you know and if I don't do it I'm not gonna teach it that would be ridiculous but I do Facebook ads every single day okay so Facebook ads I know so I did some training on that so the last part of this number seven was you've got to pick a platform that you want to be on and people say well you know LinkedIn's good and Instagram's good and Twitter's good and Facebook's good and, and, and you know YouTube's good and but you can't do them all you can't do them all I mean I guess some people could do them all once they were a huge company and they had experts in all those areas but my my advice to you is pick one pick one and get good at it and the reason I pick Facebook is because everybody's there 22 percent of the world's population and 50 million businesses are there yeah I'm gonna go with that okay they probably have more data than any of these other companies um, are the other ones good probably I don't know anything about them you know it's not my thing so I do Facebook um, so I hope that sums it up it's really not that hard um, I guess the only thing I would say I would add to that is tell yourself you can do this um, you know I started when I was 50 
and I couldn't send emails well, you know, and that was many, many, many years ago. No, it wasn't many. Right, that was just a couple years ago. We'll say that. Um, but, you know, I didn't have any advantages, okay? I didn't have, I didn't grow up in the internet age. I didn't even have a smartphone at the time. I mean, nothing, okay? Um, so when you start doing this, guys, realize that, yeah, you're going to start off at a little disadvantage. The little disadvantage is that you don't know how to do some things. But my God, all the information of the world is there now. I mean, you can get a course on anything. You can watch YouTube videos all day long. You can do whatever you want. There's no excuse for you showing up at a job that you don't like. Hey, if you love your job and you like going there every day, more power to you. Enjoy it. That's fine. You know, employees are needed. That's a good thing, right? We have employees. But if you want to make a million bucks online, follow those seven steps. I mean, it's really all you got to do. Um, if you want information, I've got a Facebook group. It's called The Art of E-Commerce Success. You're welcome to go there. Uh, I have YouTube. You can go there and you know, Google my name or whatever, um, and you can get more information. And I am going to put a link in there for the book. I think the book's good. It'll give you a good starter. It's $5.60. Big money. Um, now, there is also a link for my coaching application. Now, that is big money. Okay, That costs a lot of money. And if you don't have a lot of money, don't fill that out. Okay, it's just not worth it to you, right? Um, but I work with people one-on-one, -on -one and they get real results. Okay, and they learn how to do real things online. Um, and I don't have openings very often, so don't get offended if you go fill out the coaching application and you never hear from me because odds are you won't. Okay, that's probably what's going to happen unless you put something really convincing in there and I read it and I go, wow, this person's awesome. <laughs> um, so I hope that helps you out. Uh, feel free to grab any of my free videos, you know, invest in yourself and get your business started. And uh, this is my life for today. I've got somebody who's going to turn this thing off. I'll talk to you guys later.